welcome back guys so question 5 in our section 6.2 and here we have to deploy the parallel binary address for the addition of uh, the numbers by using the parallel binary address okay so we have to repeat problem 4 okay for the circuit and input conditions in figure 6.2 70. so this is figure 6.70 and we have different inputs so i have previously shown you that what are these inputs so let me repeat them here as well so here we can have two inputs okay so let me use uh, this color for the first number and we have here the second number here as well okay so this is a this is b and uh, here we can see that this is the lsb for a for this is a naught this is a one this is a two this is a three this is a four okay similarly this one is also composed of a naught a one a two a three a three and here a four so these are the five bits of my first number similarly for b we have here this is b naught this is b1 b2 b3 and b okay. so here as well b naught b1 b2 b3 and here b okay so what i have to do and which operation has been carried out here we have seen that these are the lsbs these are the msbs in our previous video that what i have to do first of all i will have to add them together then these two then these two then these two and so on so the conventional method of the addition or the binary addition will have to be carried out here okay so um, we can we will also have a certain amount of the carry bits from each of these uh, expressions and these would have to be uh, feed it to the next adder to carry out this addition okay so same will be carried out here and here we can see that the first number we have here is one uh, a and the second one is b so what are those numbers so we can see that a naught is one a one is zero a two is also zero okay we can see here that this is a three is one and out four is also one for b we have we can see that here b is starting from here this is b naught so b naught is zero b one is one b uh, two is one okay b three is zero and b4 is also okay so these would have to be added together and after adding them from here we will also verify let me more clear we will verify it from here that our answers will be equal okay so let me start uh, my addition here so here we can see that here we have 0 1 0 so these three has to be add it together so 0 1 0 i will get 1 so in binary 1 is written as 0 1 okay so therefore the first number i will have here this summation will be 1 while the carry output here will be 0 which will be feeded here okay so 1 0 0 1 0 0 this will again will be 0 1 so i will get here again one because this is the right bit which has to be shown here as summation two and this zero will be fitted as a carry to the next full adder so here this is again zero so one zero zero again so one zero zero this will be zero one because this is one as well so one here zero will be given here so here again we can see that zero one zero these three are to be added so zero one zero i will get here again zero one so here it will be one zero here and here we can see that the uh, bits which we have here are one one so one one zero is what this is two and two in binary can be represented as one zero so zero will be the uh, rightmost bit here which i have to 
through here and uh, this is the last carry so this last carry will be sigma 6 okay so what is this this is the answer which i have obtained from this sum okay, so by using this binary parallel binary address what i have to do here is that here i have to add these two then these two then these two two and here them as well so let me add them okay so let me add them so one zero is one zero one is one zero one 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 and here these two will be added together and it will be two so therefore it will be zero and the last carry will also be here right okay? so we can very easily see that these two answers are similar and we can see that our answers now corresponds with each, with each other and this was what this was basically the verification of my answer which i have carried out by using the parallel binary adders in our digital circuit. okay so uh, i think the concept is now clear that how conventional computers carry out the addition subtraction and other mathematical operations by using the digital circuitry okay so uh, i think uh, it's enough for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video so keep watching them and i will see you next time thank you so much